All right, it is time to look at a different style of termination. Most likely you terminate a rigid hose in a flare, but sometimes you terminate a rigid hose with a bead. Usually if that's the case, you're going to slip a flexible hose over the top and secure it with a hose clamp. Uh, places that you might do this would be like in a vacuum gauge or, uh, system or something of that nature. And so we have a couple of different styles of beaters here we're going to demonstrate. Okay, this is the classic Parker beading system, and if you're fortunate enough to have access to one of these, you're in good shape. These are very expensive, but they're a wonderful old tool, and uh, they are actually remaking them late in the last that I had heard. This beater that we have across here, you'll see it looks a lot like the tube cutter we've looked at before, except instead of having a sharp tube, it has a... Um, rolling flared edge or, or a bump in it and it, we're going to transfer that bump to the outside of the tube. Okay, to do this we're going to need to attach our tube where we can get to it and then we are going to take the beater and drop it down into the tube. Okay, we're going to tighten it just like we would do on the tubing cutter and now we're going to do exactly the same process that we would do while we were cutting a tube. Okay, gradually pushing out with that flare. And as we gradually push out with that flare, you should start to see that we're forming a ridge inside the tube. Don't overdo it. Okay, there we are. We have just beaded a tube. Okay, take a close look at that tube and you can see that we formed a little bead and that'll keep, uh, that'll keep a hose clamp, make it so that that can't slip out over the top. You also can bring that bead a little closer to the edge if you don't insert that in as far. Now, for those of you not fortunate enough to be able to afford a four to five hundred dollar Parker beading set, uh, there are cheaper alternatives. This is about a thirty dollar alternative, and I believe I got it from Wix Aircraft. This little beading tool actually uh, spins along on the inside, and you use wrenches. The flip side is you have to buy one for, one of these for every size tube you're going to bead. Start by threading this all the way out, and you can insert this down into your tube just like we did on the last one. Okay, we're going to need to secure the tube, and this time, rather than having its own handle, we're going to have to spin the uh, tube with a wrench. As we spin the uh, tool with the wrench, we're also going to need to tighten the nut. Usually you can do it with your fingers, although you can also go ahead and use the uh, uh, wrench as you work that. But I've got that beaded to the maximum, almost the maximum capability of this tool. Okay, now I'm going to back off on it. And we should be able to back off on that screw and withdraw our, draw our tool. There we go. And if you take a look at this now, we have created a bead. Okay, not quite as pronounced as the one was we, that we made with the Parker beading tool, but definitely adequate to uh, keep a, a hose with a hose clamp from slipping off the end. And this tool was a whole lot cheaper.